Tributes pouring in tonight for talk show host Jerry Springer. The controversial TV icon passed away today of pancreatic cancer at his suburban Chicago home. WGN's Jill Hillary joins us now with a look at his life, his legacy. Yep, and definitely leaves behind a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. Some good, some not so good, yeah. but most of Jerry Springer's fame came from the nearly 30 years that he spent hosting the Jerry Springer Show, and that's how most of us knew him as a talk show host. But those who were a part of his inner circle say he was much more than a celebrity entertainer, but an extremely bright, approachable, and caring person. In the early 1990s, the Jerry Springer show started off as a typical talk show. But as time progressed, he started doing some uh, crazier things and he incorporated that and that became his trademark. OK, so you did sleep with him. Oh, yeah. yeah. From huge fights to chairs thrown, you never knew what spectacle you might see on the Jerry Springer show. While the majority of people know Springer from his 27 year stint as a celebrity TV host, a much smaller audience connected with him personally. I met him in 1970. And Over the years, Gene Galvin says he and Springer connected through humor, music and politics. I happen to have known him and a lot of other people did too as mayor of Cincinnati, as a city council member, as the lead news anchor of the NBC affiliate in Cincinnati. Earlier this week, Gene Springer and another longtime friend were together one last time. There were conversations about the brotherhood that we had, and uh, and there were also um, simple things like, hey, Jared, did you know Tucker Carlson just left Fox News? Talk show host Steve Wilkos didn't know Springer was fighting cancer when they saw each other just over a month ago. He really hugged me like he had never hugged me before. And he, he was telling me he loves me. Before getting his own show, Wilkos worked for the Jerry Springer show. I got to see Jerry for all those years and see how professional he was, never late. Uh, always, you know, prepared to work and, um, you know, greeting his fans and the way he treated people. In 1997, Springer was hired to be a news commentator on WMAQ-TV in Chicago. That decision led to a huge rift in local media, resulting in the resignation of the station's main evening anchors, Carol Marine and Ron Majors. I can't say mm -hmm. that he lamented that specifically, but I was aware of it. I was aware that he went before Chicago City Council over a big controversy about his show. While the latter years of Springer's show raised eyebrows, those closest to him say he actually preferred a much calmer form of entertainment. He wouldn't watch, he'd rather, you know, listen to NPR or, or watch something else. A Springer leaves behind a wife, daughter, son-in-law, and a grandson. And funeral arrangements, they have not been set yet, but those are pending. And something interesting, I think, that um, I heard in an interview that he did about a year or so ago was, you know, there's so much controversy about his show, mm. all the, the brawls and the fights. But Subject he's, matter. Mm. Yeah, but he said that he was trying to give people who weren't wealthy, who didn't have a name for themselves, mm. just the attention that they were seeking. Mm. Yeah, and he was so much more than that, really. Yeah, you than, said than you knew him personally. that show, yeah. like, just a, a really nice guy and a smart guy, yeah, you know. Yeah, absolutely. So, mm. Thanks for that look back, Jewel. Okay.